here we see God shedding blood. God bleeds in order to save humanity out of his love for you and me. You become the God you believe in. May the peace and grace of Christ be with you today. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that everyone who believes in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Today is Good Friday, the Friday of all Fridays, the Friday when the world witnessed the worst descendants of all sentences. A Friday when God appeared to be failure and helpless. But it is also the Friday when the world witnessed the perfect manifestation and the supreme display of God's love on Mount Calvary. It is also the Friday when Jesus walked through that hour. It is not the hour of disgrace. It is not the hour of pain and death, but it is the hour of grace. It is the hour of salvation. It is the hour of redemption. And it is the hour of liberation. And this Friday is a Friday of the perfect sacrifice that was made by Jesus, the Son of God himself. We know in most of the cultures in ancient time and some cultures and religions even in the recent time, the uh, blood has been an integral part of sacrifice. And most precious of all the blood is human blood. So we see uh, animals or birds and in some places even human sacrifices were made in order to please the angry God. But here on Good Friday, we see a reverse action. Here we see God shedding blood. God bleeds in order to save humanity out of his love for you and me. And on this Good Friday, we contemplate in a more profound manner the love of God manifested in the passion and death of Jesus. Fulton Jushin says, cross is a problem, but the crucified Christ is the answer. Look at Christ on the cross today. Jesus was betrayed and denied. He was bound and dragged. He was interrogated and insulted in public. He was falsely accused. He was cruelly scourged and was given the crown of thorns. He was spat on. He was beaten up. He was humiliated. He was given the heavy cross. He was again scourged. He, had, he fell down. He was stripped off his clothes. He was given heavy and sharp nails. And he was crucified. But Jesus did not react. He was composed. He showed the integrity of his character. He showed the integrity of love. Look at him. Even while he was walking towards Calvary, carrying the cross, he tried to console the woman. He gave one of the greatest gifts to Veronica on her veil. At the last moment, he gave admission to one of the thieves into paradise. He gave sight to one of those blind soldiers. He gave Mary as a mother to the world. And he prayed for all those who turned against him. Prayed for forgiveness. 
All those who turned against him were those who were with him, those who benefited from him, those who witnessed all those miracles, all the works of God. All those who were praising him and following him all turned against him. But he never complained because he knew that was the Father's will. Even when he had doubt, even the, whether the Father was close to him, but even he even had that feeling and experience of being abandoned by his own father. But after a time of silence and meditation, who knew that God has answer for all the problems, God has answer for all the questions, and there is nothing happening into his life without the knowledge and the permission of his father. He says, into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. And he dies. My dear friend, does that experience look similar to you? Your friends betray you. The friends whom you trusted most turning against you and disowning you. People who walked with you when you were in good time and benefited from you, received everything and praised you, turning against you and accusing you falsely. And now even for false, false accusation goes viral and spreads so fast throughout the world through social media. Your names could be spoiled. You may be left alone in isolation, in fear, in disappointment and depression. You may be stripped off your dignity. You may go through the pain of being misunderstood. Look at the cross. You will see all those experiences on Christ on the cross. He went through all this. Again, as Fulton Tishin says, our God is not a God who sits in his eternal chamber and controls the whole world and his people with a, with a button. No, he is a God who comes down and walks with his people, experiencing all the pain and problems, all the difficulties and struggles, all the cross and burden of his people. God came down and walked with us in Christ. And he is on the cross today for his love for you and for me. Do not be discouraged. Do not be disappointed. Do not fall into depression. The Lord who understands you, the Lord who understands your wounds, the Lord who understands your anxieties and confusions, your depression and disappointments, your worries and secret sorrows, is close to you. He is the wounded healer. He comes to heal you. He comes to lift you up. God who bleeds. God who sacrifices himself for his love for you and for me. Jesus was on the cross and it was not the nails that held him on the cross. But it was his love for you that held him on the cross. My dear friend, look at the Christ crucified. You will be healed. And may the love of Christ redeem us. Amen.